Hello, family and friends, and welcome back. If you've been following along in this series, you know we've been asking some very challenging questions. In part two, we explored the roots of modern medicine and how often it seems that instead of curing disease, new diseases keep appearing. We also touched on the hidden history of how John D. Rockefeller helped reshape medicine into what it is today, an industry driven by petroleum-based pharmaceuticals, while pushing aside the natural plants and plant derivatives that humanity had relied upon for centuries. And so here we are in part three. The question we now face is this. If modern medicine has given us more disease and fewer real cures, where do we turn next? I can tell you this personally. I'm 65 years old, and I take no medicine at all. None. And yet, I feel better than ever. I know I'm not alone. More and more people are beginning to reach outside of the pharmaceutical industry, and they're discovering something powerful, a return to nature, a return to plant-based medicine. And, at the very same time, an opening to cutting-edge technologies that don't require pills, potions, or injections. That's what this part of our journey is about, the future of medicine, which is no longer trapped in the old pharmaceutical model. Albert Einstein once said, future medicine will be the medicine of frequencies. And now, decades later, we're starting to see this become a reality. Frequency therapies already exist. PMF, or pulsed electromagnetic field therapy. Reiki, the art of energy healing through human intention and vibration. Quantum Genius Biofield Energy Medicine and Biofeedback, which helps restore balance in ways many doctors still don't understand. These are not science fiction. They are here today. The problem? Most physicians have never been taught about them. And many dismiss them with ignorance, clinging instead to the same drugs that keep people dependent, but not necessarily well. But here's the exciting part. People are getting better. I see it happening. People in pain, people with chronic disease, people who had lost hope, finding relief and restoration through regenerative medicine. And regenerative medicine is not one thing, it's many. PMF works with the body's electrical field. Reiki, connecting the mind, body, and spirit. Quantum biofield technologies, offering personalized frequency-based balancing. And a growing range of therapies that help the body heal itself naturally and without the fear of harmful side effects. This is medicine that honors the body, medicine that doesn't just suppress symptoms, but supports balance, energy, and regeneration. Finally, there is stem cell phototherapy, which allows your body to erase pain and balance from bad health, all from the use of wearable patches that work from the light that your body gives off. So let me ask you, what if the cures we've been waiting for have been here all along? What if the body was designed to heal itself, if only we gave it the right environment, the right frequencies, the right energy? And what if the real revolution in health has nothing to do with swallowing another pill? Friends, part three is just the beginning of our look into the technologies of the future, technologies that are already here, already changing lives, and already helping people move beyond pain, beyond fear, and into true health. If you peruse my channel, you will see that I talk extensively about stem cell phototherapy, only because I use it every day. So I invite you, stay with me on this journey. Let's keep asking the hard questions. Let's keep exploring the natural wisdom that Rockefeller and his oil empire tried to erase. And let's look with excitement toward the new possibilities of regenerative medicine, frequency healing, and beyond. If this message resonates with you, do me a favor. Click like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss part four, where we'll dive even deeper into the emerging breakthroughs that are rewriting the story of medicine as we know it. Together, we can change the conversation about health and maybe even change our future. Thank you for being here. I'll see you in the next video.